Yo, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, we will discuss about the upcoming update regarding the transfer token. Is it really coming or not? And the major gameplay update that is coming very soon in the EPSU mobile. And at the end, we will walk through the new Centurion event that is coming in the Thursday reset and we will check the top player stats from those events as well. Now let's see what is Antoine and Tech about to say regarding the transfer token update. It was good to see that. I'm also seeing in chat uh, training transfer. Uh, those are still being mentioned, which is great because um, more to come on that. Uh, we don't have a date yet of when we're going to be sharing more information, but we are hoping to in the coming weeks. Um, but no, nothing confirmed. Just letting you guys know that we are talking about it. We know we see all the comments. We see everything. So um, rest assured, we are working on it in some form. So as I already mentioned previously, there is no concrete news regarding the transfer token update like in which date it is really coming in FC Mobile. As Anton and Tech mentioned, they are talking with the developer team and they will reveal more info in the coming weeks. So let's talk about the Division Rivals store pack update. As the current Division Rivals season is ending in 4 days, so we all will receive competitive and advanced competitive points after the Division Rival reset based upon which division you finished in versus a head to head or manager mode and don't spend your competitive and advanced competitive points to be honest until next thursday so let's see what anton and tech are about to say regarding the division rival store pack update moving on as well tack uh we have some reminders division rival seasons uh, right standard reminders about division rivals we always see when the season resets so it's going to reset uh, april 7th right but the new rewards are coming april 11th so hold on to your points hold on to your advanced points because updated rewards are coming uh, later in the week so same as always just guys just tell your friends as well to hold on to your points because we, all, we always see people disappointed oh my god i spent my points and then a uh, new rewards are coming so just wait a few days be patient now let's talk about the new gameplay update that is coming early April. So there is three specific gameplay update alongside some quality life improvement. So in the first update on passing, so after the update, passing will be very improved during the build up play for the chance creation. You can able to perform more ground pass or ground through pass while you are attacking. And high short passing attribute player can give fast short passing during the quick build up play after the update. The big gameplay changes that is coming after the update regarding crossing. So after the update you won't be able to just run down the wing and perform cross. For example, if you are having left footed right wing and you are trying to cross with the right foot of that right wing, then the accuracy of that cross won't be that good just before the update. Like right now you can just perform the cross with the right foot as well with that left footed right wing and the speed of the delivering the ball during the cross will be reduced as well after the update so if your opponent still does the cross against you then you can able to switch your center back in proper time after the update you can able to perform faster jog dribble or dynamic spin dribble as well so that you can able to perform scoop turn or cut back more smoothly Spectator mode is also coming after the update where you can able to see your league mate play against each other live in game or you can able to see the highlights as well of that match. The highlights will stay 7 days in game and while watching the highlights or live you can able to change the settings like changing the camera angle, display radar or turn on the commentary of this or the stadium sound effect like that. So now the main question is when this update is coming and when the up gameplay update will be live in FC Mobile. So let's see what Anton and Tap is about to say regarding the update date. Quick, quick uh, announcements before we get uh, into a more broken down uh, of uh, explanations of, of what we've just shown because it's a lot to unpack. Uh, this update is coming uh, to FC Mobile on April 9th UTC. All right, guys, and it's going to affect gameplay in uh, all, all all game modes, uh, VSA, head to head, uh, manager mode, uh, PVE. So it's going to be uh, a global in every game mode. So now let's go to the Centurion event. So in the first week of the Centurion event, you can able to select either 94 Jiko or 94 Van Nistelrooy. From the next week, in the upcoming weeks. You can able to choose either 94 CDM Makelele or 94 right back Lam. So you have to choose one of them. If you choose Makelele, you won't be able to go to the 
lump path or even in the first week if you choose Jiko you won't be able to go to the van destroy path after choosing uh, Jiko either way vice versa you can say that so if we select the Jiko from the first week in between 94 Jiko or 94 Nistel Roy, then we can able to go to the parallel world chapter. So as you guys can see, it's already locked. You won't be able to select Van Nistel Roy after selecting the Jiko. So if we can tap on the parallel world chapter, in that chapter you can able to watch daily ads and you can able to play the AI games and I mean skill games or AI match in that chapter on daily basis so after completing the ai match and skill games you can able to get trades points that is a little bit new to be honest so you can accumulate trade points like passing points or shooting points or speed points so in that chapter you can see that if i scroll left little bit you can able to see that there is three type of jiko card available in game where in one card the speed is already boosted in another card the passing is already boosted and the third type of jiko card the shooting is boosted so in this in that order you can able to choose which type of jiko card you want to get for your team now let's look at the speed boost jiko card so if you can see the stats 92 pace 94 shooting 95 passing that is very good and 95 dribbling 5 star we put as well good stamina almost maxed out stamina 5 star skill move as well for that card now if we look at the stats of passing boost Jiko stats then we can able to understand the passing is boosted in that card 98 passing look at that 94 dribbling 94 shooting pace is little bit low because pace is not boosted in that card and if we can look at the shooting stats shooting boost Jiko card then you can see shooting stats is boosted like 96 shooting 95 passing 95 dribbling and 90 pace and all the other attributes are same like 5 star we put almost maxed out stamina 5 star skill move as well and this card you won't be able to use in the center mid position because he doesn't have any alternate position if we tap on the skill point you can able to understand that now let's go to the next chapter that is find centurion chapter it is almost same chapter like we had in the winter wildcard event so in that chapter we will be able to watch ad on daily basis and we can able to do the scout exchange as well on daily basis and the new thing is you can able to progress through the ai match per day or able to we can able to play one vsa match or you can able to play one head to head match on daily basis okay so after that progress you can able to play through the uh, lab system and from that from that lab you can able to get lots of fodder card like dudek james lots of uh, other cards as well from that centurion event like we had during the winter wild card event also the, this also this card also will be untradeable like we had tap sova jardes card during uh, winter wild card event after completing certain amounts of lab you can able to get this path reward the, so now frankly speaking this is very bad you have to spend 5k gems to get one maxiano card that is very bad in my opinion this is, this is bad you can able to accumulate other reward like untradeable 91 to 97 reward lots of gems and in the end path you can able to get 194 rated card for free as well that will be untradeable but this 91 Mastiano card you can get for 5k gems it's a little bit bad in my opinion so there will be a centurion event specific quest available in game so from that quest you can able to accumulate lots of scouting points and you can get one free Mastiano as well from that quest so we have centurion pass as well for the event so in that pass we can able to get 95 OVR cdm card javi alonso look at the dynamic image you can able to move that image if you are moving your device like gyroscopic image available in that card so you can able to get new skit as well in that paid path and gomez card available also as well in that paid path and lots of good amount of i uh, mean fodder like james fc point obviously fc point will be in the paid path but james new ball also available in that free path as well and new stadium oh, and do take mess one mess channel will be there if you are buying the pass and at the end of the note you can able to get that 95 of your cdm card javi alonso 
Uh, we will see the stats as well of that Jabi Alonso card in little bit later. Let's see. So if you can see the stats of Jabi Alonso, very mid stats to be honest. For a 95 of your card, the stats is very mid. Look at the pace, 82 pace, 79 shooting. Defending stats are physical stats are decent, but still, he won't be able to play in other position as well. That is very bad to be honest. So in the exchange, there will be 80 to 97 untradeable centurion trial exchange available during the centurion event. And alongside that, there will be more regular exchange that we had right now. So we have to wait for that requirement of that exchange. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to the channel, do subscribe as well for more FC mobile content. Thank you for watching.